Greetings and welcome back. As we left off, I was in a big creepy room. Went one way. I slipped and fell into a pit and died. And now I'm going to try the other way. Ooh, Tinder. Because I totally don't have enough of those. Spring. More tinder. Ha, get up there. There we go. Another piece of orb. Speed up frame rate. I guess the orb was all that was in here. Oh, and some laudanum. Okay. The forger stood absolutely still. The casket had been closed, but a faint light made its way inside. A myriad of spikes pointed at him, glittering as they waited for his body to slip just for a moment. His knee jerked, and he felt blood trickle down his leg. In pain, his head fell slightly forward. It took him a while to realize his eye had ruptured and begun to leak. That's just disturbing. And going along out of the room, leaving the door open. Pit. 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 I'll fall on the ledge of the pit. Bridge there. Continue forward. And another bridge this way. So theoretically, going this way should lead, if I follow back along, to where I was and wrap up this area. Theoretically, of course. I know you're out there. I know you're out there. But leave me alone. I don't want any. 
I'm not buying what you're selling. So stay away. Open. Sounds like a job for my pick. Continuing on. Who are you to question me? Huh. Piece of orb. The traitor did not know what to think of the brass bull as he was forced to enter it. Only when the heat of fire began to scorch his skin and cook his flesh did he realize it was to be his tomb. The screams of pain echoed inside the brass chamber and traveled through the complex instrument, which was the bull's head. Outside, the men could hear the brazen bull bellow. Did that mean I had picked up all the orbs this way? I think I should go talk to Agrippa. See what he thinks. I mean, he should know, right? I'll just wander aimlessly through the darkness until I find my way back. Ducking to the side. Wherever you are, stay away. Because, you know, I could just jump in. Jumping in gets me back to the entrance. You know that, and I know that. So you know what? Fuck it. Daw. Watch your step. I did. I watched my step go right off the ledge. You thought that was unintentional? I did. Because now, the exit's right here. Carefully cutting the man open made him think. This is how father must feel about his craft. Being an artisan, relying on one's skill to perform something so delicate, grants a certain form of pride. You're a sick man. The bodies are gone. Nave. Something died inside of him that day. Watching that man slip was more than his mind was willing to handle. Okay.
Okay. So, Goodness. what you say? Incredible! You found Vile's recipe. Then there might still be a chance. Listen carefully. Alexander is working on opening a gate, a door to another world. It's where he wants to go. If you could put your anger aside, let him open the portal before you take your revenge. Let me pass the gate, Daniel. Please, find the ingredients and prepare the tonic via this climb. And do so before you assemble the all. The barrier keeping you from the inner sanctum will only be breached for a short time. Unless everything is taken care of before mending the all, you won't be able to save me. Okay then, using straight through the green, so I'm just gonna shatter it into pieces. So, do I have all the pieces from that one place? You are creepy looking. Looks like you cleaned out the choir. Head for the transom and find the rest of the old pieces. That's what I wanted to know. And I gotta refill my lantern. Transept. Such filth, he thought. Good men can safely cheer their departure as they are nothing but a burden to mankind. They shall not be missed. Such filth. Okay, and. And a staircase. Hello? Well, this looks disturbing. Tinder. Well, that looks disturbing too. Where's my orb piece? The kidnapper sat on her knees with her hands tied behind her back. She felt her hands being lifted and her body followed. Her shoulders gave way to the weight of her own body and cracked loudly. The suspended woman cried hysterically as the men contemplated their next step. That's nice, but... Where's my orb piece? There. And with that, um, I guess it's time to end this episode. I'll see you guys next time.